Good morning. Back at the tool and cutter grinder here. And I uh, want to talk about just doing some odds and ends grinding that needs to be done in the shop here, you know. Uh, I don't have a regular bench grinder in the shop because uh, I have this. And, uh, you know, uh, in those a grinding machine, uh, I don't use the machine movements all the time. And I think I, I, I've demonstrated some hand stuff that I've done. But um, what I got, I swung the um, um, regular abrasive wheel um, around here. And uh, I'm going to uh, sharpen some uh, high-speed steel. And uh, first of all, uh, I'll show you how I uh, use this vise, which I find pretty versatile. Um, I'm going to put, a, I got a diamond dresser here. And I'm going to put it in a vise. I'll find the little handle here. Get it up here. And I'm going to put it in a vise here. Open that up, right about like that, slide it back, just about like that. Okay, now you can uh, put, the, put the diamond at an angle and keep rotating it and it'll sharpen it. So I'm going to put it at about that angle and uh, lower the wheel head here. And fire it up. Make sure everything's tight. If you go slowly across the wheel, it'll kind of close the pores up a little bit and you'll get a little finer grind. But I want a kind of medium, and uh, so I'll go kind of a medium uh, feed across the wheel. Put it on the Just like that. So you keep rotating the diamond in this folder, then it keeps sharpening itself. And you can you can do some different things with the uh, position of the diamond to get the, the the wheel to open up more. For instance, you can have the diamond uh, point more straight at the wheel. Okay, so I'll set this right here. Now what I'm going to stick in here is I got this piece of steel. Let loosen that a little bit. And I'm going to put it right like this. You see it's kind of beveled here. Okay. And what this is is a work rest. And I'm just going to grab it kind of right about like that. Give myself a bit of room with it. About like that. Snug it in pretty good. Get that little crank off there. Then I can rotate this around and I got a nice little grinding rest. See? And uh, I can move that uh, in and out. Then also change the angle. And because it's got that bevel, I can get it very close to the wheel. So let me get that up even further, and I'll show you what I can do. Real quick little grind here. It's with my uh, high-speed uh, parting tool, and this is just a really easy way to grind this. And I'll just line it up with the wheel, 
just about like that. Oh, that's just great. Now, snug it, make sure everything's tight. Okay. Oh, no, just too much label. can do the same thing um, uh, with carbide, crank the table back, and I've got a, I kind of tool that uh, I need to repair, let's see if I can get this down a little bit and uh, get that about level, now where'd that go? It's, oh, this is one of them here, and the other one is, well, it just ran away. Well, I've got a little nick in this one here, and otherwise I'd have to put it in a collet and, and set up and grind it. So I just can take that nick out by hand and uh, then continue to sharpen this bar uh, by grinding it back normally. So I'll take that little nick out. Lower the head a little bit. Just about like that. And if you can get that little nick out. A little bit close, so I don't get wedged in there. Right about here. Oh, nice. I got it out. 
nice and strong. It would be great, you know. And this, you know, uh, that saved a lot of time doing it that way. Now, one more thing I got going here, and you might find it interesting. Now, you've seen me attach my uh, tool post grinder to this machine. That's an old timer trick, you know, attaching a tool post grinder to the top of the machine. Then you got a tilt head, you can do internal grinding. Well, this is something I want to do, and I'll show you. Is uh, I've added 40 taper to my uh, machine tools here with the 40 taper on that uh, uh, brown and sharp mill. 40 taper vertical head. So I want to be able to grind uh, cutters right in the holder. So I got to convert the head here to 40 taper. And I discovered that this, this is a bent ER4050 taper chuck. And I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to grind the nose of that to take uh, 40 taper. So that'll be kind of interesting. So uh, that's a little internal uh, grind job I'm going to do. I think this will work fine. I don't know. I might have to cut this way back. We'll see how that goes. So, uh, hey, thanks for looking, and I'll be back soon.